Everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. We're at HP Logic in West Palm Beach, and we are going to dyno the Tesla Model S P100D. Uh, last time here, it's been a couple years, we dynoed the P85D, and it made some incredible horsepower and torque, but no one to date has dynoed the 100. Uh, we got Ludacris Plus ready to go, warmed up, and we'll see what kind of horsepower and torque this thing puts down. Right now, we're strapping down the car. This is a Mustang all-wheel drive dyno. And we're not going to do it from a dead stop because it's probably too much torque. We don't want to break anything. So we're going to go from like a 20 mile an hour roll and see if we can get it to, uh, to register. <laughs> What's that? Okay. All right, so what happened here is the uh, car was in uh, high mode uh, suspension wise and the car lowered itself as it picked up speed on the dyno and that loosened the straps. So Jack noticed that immediately we stopped the run and I uh, put the car in full low suspension so that can't happen again and we're gonna give it another try. All right, so on this run, uh, the car started to build some power and pulled back on the dyno. Uh, we got some traction control errors. Um, apparently the car, even though we're on a link dyno all-wheel drive, if the car is not moving, it senses uh, that it's not moving and throws up some errors. So uh, we're gonna give it another try. Okay. So we're all done. I think we needed about eight passes to finally get it to work. Um, the car pulls power and it was actually spinning on the dyno a little bit. So we figured out a couple of tricks to make it actually hook on the dyno and put all the power down. And the results are 
the results came in at 920 foot-pounds of torque and 588 horsepower and we had to start the run at about 30 miles an hour and even then this dip right here shows uh, it's spinning on the dyno so it's possible it could even made even more torque it's possible that peak right up there could be even higher um, but there you have it, Tesla P100D, first one on the dyno, 920 foot-pounds of torque, 588 horsepower. And actually, that was on like probably the ninth pass. So um, we're thinking that um, it would have made some more if it didn't spin and if it was uh, maybe a little higher battery charge. All right, so that's it. We're all done here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below. And uh, we'll be out of the track again trying to get some better times out of the car. If you need a dyno tuning done, Come over to see Jack at HP Logic in West Palm Beach, Florida. Thanks a lot.